Hey team, welcome to PAMPS 101. PAMPS are pathogen associated molecular patterns. Uh, why do we care about PAMPS? Well, we're getting into how does the immune response recognize self from non-self? And fortunately for us, there are things about pathogens that are inherently different from our own animal cells. Um, so pathogen associated molecular patterns. So focus in on the word pathogen patterns. So there are patterns on pathogens that are recognized as foreign to us. Um, so down here, I've had an example of all sorts of different PAMPs. Um, so for example, for viruses, the capsid um, is inherently different than animal cells. We have, if we had an envelope virus, the spike proteins are considered PAMPs. Also, the envelope itself is a PAMP. Uh, when we're talking about bacteria, the cell wall of bacteria is very different from our own animal cell membranes. Some bacteria also have a flagella, which is used to be motile uh, in movement. Uh, other bacteria have cilia, so they're kind of very short, hair-like protein structures. Um, so these are all considered PAMPs. We can also consider viral and bacterial genetic material a PAMP. Um, so for example, we could have viral RNA, we can also have viral DNA, and then we also have bacterial DNA and bacterial plasmid DNA. So these are all things, fortunately for us, is that our body can recognize that they are not self and they are associated with a pathogen. And so remember, pathogens are only the microbes and viruses that are harmful to the body. So we have lots of good bacteria and fungi and viruses that are harmless to us. So we don't want to recognize those as, as a pathogen. But the ones that are harmful to us and can cause disease, our immune response has gotten really good at recognizing that these are PAMPs. These are patterns associated with those pathogens. Next, we're gonna talk about how antigens and PAMPs relate to each other.